especial. We can't just wait to be rescued. We have no idea when or if the Resolute is going to catch up. But if we can get access to the Zeldi systems, we might be able to figure out what the Takan are up to. You got somewhere we could do that? Forest probably contains dilithium. Stray phaser blast could cause a piezoelectric rupture and blow a hole in the ship. Better be careful. Come on, Carter. We need to stick with the tall guy. Up there? All right. Etzelar, let's do this. The internal sensors. The what? When they scan the ship for life signs, they'll know right where we are. Must be devices that perform the scan. Right there. And there. There's several of them around the room. Got it. We'll disable them. How? They're too high to reach, even for me. Not too high for our phasers. Low power, Millie. Let's not set off any fire alarms. I got the ones over here. Got one. Another down. Hurry, Carter! I am! Only one left. Here it comes. It worked. They won't be able to detect us. That buys us some time. Now that the Zeldi has its power again, I might be able to access some of the ship's systems from here. I'll take care not to give away our position. The Takan might not even know we're still on board this ship. Miranda only saw us transport away. She probably thinks we're back on the Resolute. Miranda. Don't give up on her yet, Carter. She had you in her sights, and she didn't shoot. That means the real Miranda is still in there. The Takan don't have her. Not completely, at least. She must still feel... something. That is a reason to hold out hope. And a reason to remember that Takan haven't just hijacked this ship. They've hijacked every body they're in. I know she played us, used her sympathies, your relationship to break out of sickbay. But maybe there's a way to turn her back and Miranda could help us stop the Takan. Here, on the ship... Just because the Trill joining is permanent, doesn't mean the Takan bioforming has to be. I've heard enough of your prattling on about your friend. You have to think like a soldier. She's our enemy now. She'll be dealt with like the rest of the Takan. My friend Miranda is not responsible for what she's doing. The Takan have taken control of her mind. We certainly can't kill her for it. Speak for yourself. If anyone threatens the Empire, they are the enemy. It's just one life, and it's already been lost. You don't get to talk about Miranda. You don't get to ignore the truth. We don't like this any more than you do. The Takan are a threat to all of us. They turned our crewmates too. You really think they're gonna stop there? No. And yet we still risked our lives to come help you, and not everyone made it. I'll grant that you showed your grit and effectiveness. More than I can say about accessing ship systems. They block out helm control, propulsion. They're closing down systems faster than I can check them. 
They're always changing these interfaces. I can hardly keep up. Let us help. Fine. They're using a senior officer's access code to lock down our systems from the bridge. The Takan must have turned someone in command. Here's something. I can see the course they have plotted in. The Lydian fleet has explored a lot of systems, but it's all in the opposite direction of where we're going. Away from Hotari space. I hope the Resolute is all right back there. We're headed to the edge of the galaxy. Nothing but uninhabited systems along the way. And if we keep going, we'll leave charted space. A lot sooner than I like to think about, too. That can't happen. We need to take control and turn this ship around. Get back to the front lines of the battle for Olivia. We are on the front lines! They're going to do this all over the Quadrant. The whole Federation is at risk. That is a possibility, but it's already a reality for my people. I'm sure it's pretty damn real for the people who are trapped in their own bodies controlled by the Takan. You can't just turn your back on them. I'll take this ship without you if I have to. And I'll bring it back to Olivia, or I'll destroy it. I won't let it stay in the hands of the enemy. Think strategically. We stand a better chance by working together. You're right to be angry. Doesn't do any good to turn it on us. Fair enough. The most important thing is that we get control of this ship, so that we don't end up so far away that the Resolute can't ever catch up to us. And if we control the Zeldi, that also means they can't use that Cartabula thing. I'm not sure we can do much more from here. What's this? It's a data stream. It looks to be a two way communication. Let me see if I could. Put it through a demultiplexing processor. Can you get that clearer? I'm trying. Okay. That should do it. Hello. Can you read me? Itasca, is that you? Major. It's my lieutenant. Where are you? I'm here with some of the others. We're trapped in the ATP. Our artillery targeting platform. The bulkheads are sealed, and ruptured power conduits on the other side are discharging at high voltage. Major, we've seen Sidron and the other Atari. And if we can get free, I think we'll be able to overpower them and take back the ship. Itasca, are you still there? Itasca, are you still there? Trust anyone else you meet. The Hotari have been transforming people on the ship. We've seen it happen. Bioforming. It's only a matter of time before any remaining crew are turned against us. You have to come and help us. I gotta ask, are you sure that's really your comrade? It's Itasca. You're going to have to trust me. I know Lieutenant Itasca well. That's her. Clear and not under duress beyond our current circumstances. I'm sure of it. You better be right about this. If I suspect something is amiss, I'll deal with the task of myself. Remind me not to give him that side. We'll make it to you undetected and we'll free you from the ATP. We'll be ready and waiting, sir. I may not know the computers very well, but I know every inch of this ship. I can get us there, safely, through the back routes.
may approach. Your Majesty, an apology is in order. The Federation... Spare us your apologies, your excuses, your pathetic explanations. You said you were here under the pretense of peace, yet you trespassed into our minds. I should have known you couldn't be trusted when you sided with the Illidian. Your intentions have been clear from the start. We knew you were hiding something. We had to find the truth. I hope you were satisfied with what you found. Your Majesty, if I may... Her actions nearly caused a war. I was addressing the Queen. Galvin speaks for the Voltari now. Fortunately, we were able to resolve this ourselves despite your interference. The Illidians have agreed the mines will remain under Hotari control. We now recognize the Hotari as the sole authority in this region. Your presence here is no longer necessary. So you can consider the matter resolved. They never wanted the Federation involved. This was all just a ploy from the start. We never needed the Federation involved. But we're so thankful that you've come. That being said, the sooner you leave, the better. The hell we will! What about my crew trapped aboard that ship? Or what you did to my security team? The data you stole? I want to make one thing clear. No one is to leave Otari space without Federation approval. No one! You think you have that power, when in fact you have none. You came here under the presumption you would be the ultimate authority. That you would show up and render judgment in this petty dispute over precious resources between lesser people. But instead, your arrogance and self-interest was your undoing. Blinding you to the real power at work here. Something far beyond your feeble imagination. We came at your request. To help solve the problem, not you create came one. Because I wanted to see the mighty Federation for myself, the greatest power in the galaxy. Needless to say, I was disappointed. They never wanted our help. They were setting us up from the start. Commander Rydex saw what you did in those mines. How you bioformed innocent people against their will and turned them into Takan. A word I haven't heard in a very long time. At the height of our power, the Takan Empire spanned hundreds of thousands of light years and trillions of Taconians. An empire that encompassed what is now considered Federation territory. What's yours was what's ours. So it feels only right that we reclaim what was lost. Everything you hold dear will be gone. The first of many painful losses to come. You do realize this will never work. The Federation will stop you no matter what it takes. Will they? From what I can tell, the Federation is little more than a loose assemblage of the weak and the misguided. But I certainly invite them to try. You might be surprised how many want to be part of the most advanced civilization the galaxy has ever seen. We will not stop until we've reclaimed what is rightfully ours. Imagine what a queen, a starship captain, or even a Federation ambassador could accomplish if their power was wielded by a truly superior entity. In the face of such impossible odds against an adversary so clearly more advanced in every way, the only logical choice is to submit. Never. Seize them. Get us out of here, now! Beam us out. You ever done something like this before? Close quarters combat? Infiltrating an enemy stronghold? Something like that. 
I once spent six days crawling through the sewers during the siege of Tofar Ket to retake the Citadel there. That's just one of many campaigns I've served in. My dress uniform is well decorated. I'm glad we're here with you. We need your kind of experience. I should say you do. And I'll be glad to have Lieutenant Itasca with us. She fought shoulder to shoulder with me in that siege. So you're pretty close, huh? She's like... a daughter to me. She's saved my life more than once. She's more than just a comrade in arms. Don't worry. We'll get her and the others free. I'll worry less when that's been done. But once we have my comrades, proper soldiers, we'll be able to retake the bridge. Then, our fleets will catch up to us. The ATP is just down that corridor. Is this the artillery platform? This is the power distribution for the forward armament cluster. Well, there was combat here. Disruptor burns on the walls. Signs of a grenade detonation. Right, the Takan might still be nearby. Maybe my people killed them. Or they could be waiting for us. And that's a problem for when we meet them. The distribution conduits have been knocked loose. The currents in those lines would be lethal. Is there any way to power those down? Each circuit has a control panel that regulates power to the magneto banks. Track connections between the power lines and the control panels. I should be able to clear a safe path to your crew. We'll get the door open here. It's heavy. Barely. There's a lot of collateral damage out here. They backed us into a corner. We did that to drive them out. Put some space between us and the enemy. Ah! They're here. Get down! I think they've given up on capture. We'll never make it if we go back that way. You! Give me a hand with this!
the lead. We'll keep them busy.
the stairs! Let the enemy take them. Hadri and Private Turo. They weren't the only ones. But if we hadn't, it would have been all of us. I'll have to live with that. And I'll answer for it when I die. It's not the Illidian way to leave one of our own behind. It's a sin to do so. We've lost people too. I know it's not easy. What makes it worse? Is that when we were in there, trapped, Hadri is the one who said that we had to live to fight. And we all agreed. We said, if one of us was taken, the others wouldn't stop. We'd keep going, make our way to the bridge. They died so we could fight on. The Takan don't want them dead. They want to steal their bodies. And steal their minds. The Takan knows everything the host knows. That means they know our plan. They know we're heading to the bridge. Tylus, you should be in sickbay. I'll finish this. I couldn't just lie there knowing the entire fate of Hotari hangs in the balance. How did it go? Look exhausted. It went about as well as could be expected under the circumstances. Oh, well, that's a relief, because I was fearing the worst. I heard a rumor that they'd made a deal that the Illidians agreed to peace. After what we saw Sidron do to the diplomat in the mines, I could hardly believe there was hope, but then. Is that true? I'm afraid the truth is far worse than that. There's no deal. No. They're all Takan now. The Hatari, the Illidians. Everyone. No. That can't be true. I'm sorry. Where will I go? I can't go back. I don't have a home anymore. Everything I've ever known is gone. Hotari isn't lost yet. This is far from over. It will be your home again, I promise. Thank you. The Federation stands with the Hotari. You don't have to doubt it for a second. Yellow, alert. Commander Rydek, we need you on the bridge immediately. Commander. Good to have you back. You didn't opt for the ocular implants. Maybe someday. The visor was the best the doc could do on short notice. We've got an Olydian ship, the Beskar, rapidly bearing down on our position. 
Or what was the Veskar. Now I'm not so sure. Bring it up on the view screen. 600 kilometers in closing. Still coming straight for us. Hmm. Commander? Have you tried hailing them? Try it. Hailing the Illidian ship now. No response. 400 kilometers in closing. Shields up. Ready, phasers. Shields up. Phasers ready. Photon torpedo. Lock phasers and open fire. Heavy damage. But the collector's still in full power? That bypassed our shields entirely. That's impossible. God damn it, return fire. Everything we've got. Right it. Modulate the shield frequencies. See if you can get us any cover. Commander, I've I got this. Just keep firing. Shields still have no effect. That doesn't make sense. I'll try another. There. We've got incoming. How do they keep matching our shield frequency? They couldn't. Unless... They've compromised our shield algorithms. They can bypass our shields at will. What? Ah. Ah. Captain! Uh. He's out cold! Why'd they stop? Damage report. Running on emergency power. Major hull damage on decks four through seven. Warp core is stable and intact. We're completely vulnerable. Commander. We're being held by the Veskar. It's Galvin. On screen. Commander Rydak. Where's your captain? Not dead, I hope. At least, not yet. Don't take it personally. But he had better things to do than talk to you. Did he? Well, perhaps he's busy repairing his pathetic little ship. I have to give you credit, Commander. You survived longer than I thought you would. But make no mistake, your shields are useless, your weapons ineffective, and there's nothing you can do. I could destroy you at any moment, but I'd rather hear your pleas for mercy first. Your existence is entirely in my hands, and I'm not in a forgiving mood. If you want to destroy us, then I invite you to do your worst. We'd rather die with honor than beg for your mercy. You may just get your wish. I've been thinking about what you said, Commander. That the Federation would stop me no matter what. Your performance in this encounter has not supported that claim. The Veskar's weapons are powering up. isn't over. <laughs> I assure you, we've only just begun. I've lost their signal. Can you track their warp signature? Nothing. It's untraceable, just like before. Notify Ambassador Spock. I want everyone in the briefing room to discuss our options. 
What's the status of the repairs? Hull breach should be patched up in a matter of hours. Impulse power is at 67%. Should be fully restored soon. Still no luck tracking Galvin's warp signature. They've all but disappeared. Keep trying. Finding that son of a bitch is the best shot we've got. Commander Ryder, you had the con after the ship was attacked. What is your assessment? Given our current situation, and the losses we have suffered. I'd rather not fight this alone. We need to call for reinforcements. In that case, we might have an option. Portal 6-3, guardian of the Takan Empire. If anyone could find Galvin, it would be him. That's assuming he's willing to help us. True, but there's only one way to find out. Wouldn't we need to secure authorization from the Federation Council to contact him? The nearest Federation outpost is Andoria. I can travel there by shuttle and inform them personally of the threat from the Takan. Meanwhile, the Resolute can travel to the Delphi Ardu system in search of Portal 63. I still have my doubts. I do not. Captain William T. Riker has first-hand experience with the area and with Portal 63. His guidance will prove invaluable and should alleviate your concerns. Delphi Ardu 4 is a restricted zone for good reason. For all we know, we could be walking into a trap. Not to mention the high likelihood Portal 63's allegiance will be with the Takan. It's just too much of a risk. A waste of time. Time we can't afford to lose. According to Commander Riker's records of meeting Portal 63, he was willing to listen to reason. We may be able to convince him that Galvin is wrong. Or he'll just be happy to learn his civilization is making a comeback. In which case, we only compound the problem. I am inclined to agree with Commander Rydek. Her logic is sound. This portal may have knowledge that proves to be invaluable, including information on the nature of the Cartabula. We must act on the facts at hand. Then we'll give it our best. I'll arrange a meeting with Captain Riker. And I will speak with the Council. They need to understand the magnitude of the situation. I can leave for Andoria immediately. I wish you luck finding Portal 63. The very future of the Federation may rest in your hands. It takes a minimum of eight crew on the bridge to run the ship. So we can expect at least that many hostiles. If they bioformed Hadri, they know we're coming. Which means everyone needs to be ready for... Take cover! Take cover! Now what? We need that door sealed. We can handle that. Where do you need us? There's an access panel there. We should be able to patch into the Loki systems. We'll be shot getting there. I'll cover you. On my signal. Now! do with them we don't have time to take prisoners so you're just gonna shoot them i haven't decided yet 
It's not just up to you. I'm the ranking officer. And we're not in your army. These prisoners can be useful to us. But if you kill them, we'll never know. I can live with that. Well, I can't. You're an engineer, not a soldier. This is clearly my territory. You think you have enemy combatants here? This is a hostage situation. Each one of them has an innocent life inside. I'll keep watch on them. As will I. We can't let our guard down around the enemy. Petty Officer Diaz and I will figure out how to stop the ship. Let's hurry. The rest of the Takai could show up any minute. Crystals. They were all over this place. Look here. It's navigational data. We saw that already. Headed to the edge of the galaxy. It's only a display. We couldn't use it to change course or alter speed. signature of Takan technology. Everything they make gives off this type of radiation. They're blocking the inputs. It's not responding at all. Everything I try, it just ignores me. Maybe we should try that other console. Good idea. Faces on top of each other. This... this is not a Lydian programming. We gotta figure this out before we get wherever we're going. The Resolute can't catch up to us. We're in a whole different kind of trouble. reactor output would drive us past the theoretical top speed of this ship. So how fast are we actually going? This console looks unaffected. Captain Ostego did not survive the atmosphere poisoning. I'm sorry to hear that. He died defending the Empire. That's how he'd want it. Huh. 
careful where you point that thing. It's not active. I can't see any way this will work as a weapon. It's dead. Out of ammo? Not sure. From an intrusive program. This control station won't do us any good either. What have they done to this bridge? Consoles running themselves, some clogged up with crystals that are sending off tetrametric pulses. But none of this is sending signals outward. It's receiving. They're flying the ship from somewhere else. That should be impossible. But it explains why there's less than a full bridge crew. They aren't flying the ship from the bridge. Where are they controlling it from? Everything under control? Yes. These Takan haven't made a move. Yet. And what you're doing is working. There's plenty more I can do. But it doesn't have to be that way, as long as they behave. than an hour. We can't let that happen. Hold on, it would take days to go this distance with our fastest ship. We're traveling at a warp factor many times greater than this ship should even be capable of. Even with the engines pushed as hard as they are, they wouldn't produce this speed.
What are we gonna do with them? We don't have time to take prisoners. So you're just gonna shoot them? I haven't decided yet. That's not just up to you. I'm the ranking officer. And we're not in your army. These prisoners could be useful to us. But if you kill them, we'll never know. I can live with that. Well, I can't. You're an engineer, not a soldier. This is clearly my territory. You think you have enemy combatants here? This is a hostage situation. Each one of them has an innocent life inside. I'll keep watch on them. As will I. We can't let our guard down around the enemy. Petty Officer Diaz and I will figure out how to stop the ship. Let's hurry. The rest of the Takan could show up any minute. Crystals. They're all over this place. gonna be there in less than an hour we can't let that happen hold on it would take days to go this distance with our fastest ship we're traveling at a warp factor many times greater than this ship should even be capable of what are the engines doing to produce this kind of speed look here it's navigational data we saw that already headed to the edge of the galaxy it's only a display we couldn't use it to change course or alter speed. Where's the captain? Captain Ostego did not survive the atmosphere poisoning. I'm sorry to hear that. He died defending the Empire. That's how he'd want it. This console looks unaffected. Huh. Careful where you point that thing. It's not active. I can't see any way this would work as a weapon. It's dead. Out of ammo? I'm not sure. technology. They seem to be active, just like the rest of their tech. Tetrametric pulses. Tetrametric? It's the energy signature of Takan technology. Everything they make gives off this type of radiation. They're blocking the input. It's not responding at all. Everything I try, it just ignores me. Maybe we should try that other console. Good idea. Two interfaces on top of each other. This... This is not a Lydian programming. It's the Takan language. From what I can tell, the ship's systems are actively responding to input. Which is the opposite of how most bridges work. They usually send commands, not receive them. It's from an intrusive program. This control station won't do us any good either. What have they done to this bridge? Consoles running themselves, some clogged up with crystals that are sending off tetrametric pulses. 
But none of this is sending signals outward. It's receiving. They're flying the ship from somewhere else. That should be impossible. But it explains why there's less than a full bridge crew. If they aren't flying the ship from the bridge, where are they controlling it from? Main drive manifold is spiking way over nominal levels. Very dangerous. Even at 100% output, the warp cores wouldn't push this much plasma to the drive section. The reactor output matches the high speed, doesn't it? Whether it's these crystals or the power from the cartabula, the Takana found a way to increase the engine output and top speed. We have to find a way to hit the brakes before we outrun anyone who could help us. We stop it. So they can't get this ship where they're going, and enact the next phase of their plan. That is, if they don't destroy us all first. I would have thought this ship would disintegrate going this speed. But somehow, that hasn't happened yet. That's just two sides of the same coin. It's what? Either way, we both want to stop the Zeldi. Ah, yes. And we will find a way to do it. I hate to think what the Cartabula could do if it was plugged into something it was meant to power. That's everything. We got some answers. I don't like what they tell us, though. If we can learn nothing else, then what's left is to make these Takan talk. And if they don't, we'll dispose of them. Hey, that's not how we do this. That is enough from you. I thought that thing was useless. It was. No power. Until he touched it. The weapons must be biocoded. Our technology will only work for one of our kind. I can assure you, this weapon works just fine for me. Slow down, Arminta. <laughs> you can't control this ship with a disruptor. But I can use it to control you. Ah! The Titan's communications officer says Captain Riker will be ready in just a moment. You need to see this. The report on the data breach. Damn. It's worse than I'd hoped. They didn't just compromise our shields. They stole the shield algorithms for all of Starfleet as well. Meaning every ship is potentially vulnerable to attack. Making this so much worse than it already was. Given the potential consequences, we should notify Starfleet as soon as possible. I don't disagree, but uh, I'll reach out to Ambassador Spock about it. I don't want to cause a panic, and I doubt he does either. I have Captain Riker for you. Let's not mention any of this S.H.I.E.L.D. business to Riker just yet. Put him through. Captain Riker. This is my first officer, Commander Jara Rydek. My pleasure. Sir. I wish we were all meeting under better circumstances. So do I, although you and I have actually met before. We have. I was a young lieutenant on the Potemkin. You were first officer on the Tuckerman. I piloted you and our science officer in a shuttle to survey quantum residence in the planetary rings of Residia 6. Oh, yes. Now I remember. You know, he gave me some good advice that day about a very difficult job. Yours. Well, I'm not one to turn down some words of wisdom, sir. 
And let me ask, as first officer on a starship, where does your responsibility lie, first and foremost? To the captain, the crew, or the ship itself? Oh, this old chestnut. I am curious to hear what she says, though. Ultimately, my responsibility is to the crew at large. The needs of the many. You have been hanging around Ambassador Spock. But the truth is, it's a trick question. Every situation is different, and there are no easy answers. And in some cases, it might not be any of those three. It could be the Prime Directive, or the mission. Yes, so perhaps we should get to the matter at hand. When you were with the Enterprise, you encountered a Takan entity known as Portal 63. The Enterprise was held captive in orbit until you were able to convince him to let the ship go. All of which is detailed in the mission report. What we want from you is what we can't get from the report. What can we use to get Portal 63 to help us? I've often thought about that over the years. How a small difference in the encounter could have led to disaster. The most important thing is, don't let him push you around. He could appear as a man or as a godlike projection. He'll test you, but don't be overwhelmed by the pageantry and theatrics. I'll stand up to him. You can trust in that. Good, but that's just the first step. Portal is full of bluster and bravado, but he can be reasoned with. And that's my other piece of advice. You want to appeal to him rationally. You don't want him thinking you're acting out of fear. But we are afraid of the Takan, and with good reason. He's not the sort to suffer fools, and he'll lose interest if he feels his time is being wasted. I suppose that's one thing we have in common. Do you think he will go against his own people? He was proud of his empire. He called us barbarians. Maybe you can find a way to make him see these people claiming to be Takan aren't real to Khan. They're... They're corrupting his legacy. What if he won't cooperate and we have to face these to Khan ourselves? Then we have a much bigger problem on our hands. What I mean is, in the 16 years since you discovered this outpost, there has to have been research. Battle plans for what to do about the to Khan if we encountered more of them. I need to know what they are. If I had that answer, it would have been the first thing I told you. We both know Command has had their share of hidden plans in the past. Like Admiral Hansen and Captain Shelby's Special Projects Division in Starfleet Tactical. Devising new ways to take on the board. Trust me. This isn't some Starfleet conspiracy to keep you in the dark. But if you two don't think you're equipped to make contact, you need to tell me now. Because there is no silver bullet here. Now's not the time to hesitate. I need to know you're up to this. Were you equipped to meet Portal 63 all those years ago? I'm here, aren't I? Yes, you are. And we have the benefit of your experience on our side. Fair enough. There was a special task force that considered the Takan, and I was part of it. But because there were no other signs of the Empire, we determined the best course of action was to create a restricted zone around the Delphi Ardu system. I have my concerns, but I'll clear the way with the brass for your travel into the restricted space. Just remember what I've told you. And it wouldn't hurt to read some Sun Tzu en route. Or Marcus Aurelius. Anything else? Machiavelli? Thank you for your support, Captain Riker. I wish I could be there myself. But my first officer would probably see to it that I stay on the bridge while they get all the excitement on the away mission. The burdens of command. Rest assured, the Federation is taking this threat very seriously. You won't be alone out there for too long. Thank you, Captain Riker. One more thing. Ambassador Spock said that the Khan stole some data from your central computer. What's that all about? We're still assessing the extent of the breach. Nothing to report as of right now. That's it? Ambassador Spock suggested it was something more serious, which is why I'm asking. One thing we know is that they stole Starfleet shield algorithms. The shield algorithms? That could jeopardize every ship in the fleet. We're still making sure our assessment is accurate. We don't want to raise alarms unnecessarily. This is as real as it gets, Solano. 
I have to talk to Starfleet Command now, so I think this conversation has come to an end. I really do hope you get Portal 6-3 and find those to Khan before this gets out of control. Riker out. I specifically said I wanted to keep this under wraps. I thought we had an understanding. Now all of Starfleet will hear about this. Riker's ship is at risk. They all are. I can't believe you would want to keep that from him. That's one more thing I'll have to answer for. Now I have to think about the damage control of it all. You're dismissed. It's the Automated Federation warning buoy. Transmitting the disable code Captain Riker provided. That was unpleasant. Commander Ermont, what are the conditions of our systems? All internal systems operational. Commander Westbrook, what are your scans of the planet? Nothing out of the ordinary. No sign of this outrageously powerful Takan being? I'm running a magneton scan now, but so far, nothing. Where are you? Prep your way, team. We don't know if Portal 6-3 will cooperate. He's not an asset. He's an enemy. So be ready for anything. worth keeping alive for a little while longer. I cannot stop this ship any more than you could stop the tides. Not good enough. The impotent threats of a lower life form do not sway me. I will not bend to you. I was born 600,000 years ago. But a new age dawns today. I liked you a lot better when you were Ryan Kapoor. A pain in the ass sometimes, but a stand-up guy when it counted. You weren't friends with the one who gave up this body. He didn't give it, you took it. And all the others. My name is Zan Glosa. I was born in the final days of the Age of Makto. I am but one of many. We who took a leap of faith across the bridge of time to be reborn in these bodies. Eventually, one of you will break. Understand how overmatched you truly are. This craft was nothing before we imbued it with the speed required by our mission. But the Cartabula produces enough energy to drive an entire fleet of ships like this one. But when we wake the Aphelion, we won't need a fleet. The Aphelion? Only then will you understand the might of the Takan Empire. Reborn in this time. Well, I can promise you. Whatever you're after, this Ophelion, you won't get there. We'll destroy the Zeldi and everything on it if we have to. You can't do that. The Cartabula would rip through the fabric of the universe if it were critically damaged. He's right. Come on! This goes from bad to worse unless you do what they say. <clears throat> can't stop the ship. Then he will. Or we cut off his hands and use them ourselves. The moment I reduce speed or change our heading, the others will. First, they'll just resume course from elsewhere. A trivial matter. And then, they will come here. For you, this is a dead end. I don't know if he's telling the truth, but I don't like it. We need a new plan. He's just trying to talk his way out of trouble. Why would you tell us all this? I tell you because I value my own life. When my fellow Scions come, and they will come, I expect you'll all act like the savages you are and a battle once. You've all died once. I don't intend to do so again. 
I won't touch those controls. If you want to get us killed, do it yourselves. You fear death. There's a way to stop this ship for good, and he knows how. He just needs more pressure. What kind of pressure? We heard him. He'll talk. Trust me. That's against Starfleet protocol. You're not on a Starfleet ship. Your protocol does not apply. We take the action that will lead to our victory. Don't assume your moral code takes precedence above all others. I'm not going to torture them. Not like this. There's got to be something we can work with here. This area here? Power generation. The warp cores. It's deserted. What's this? This display shows the location of the Tacon on the ship. This is where the infiltrators are. The central artery of ship systems. Sensors. Propulsion. Weapons. Doesn't seem to be working here. This is weird. 